G'day, g'day, g'day. Uh, welcome to Good Vibes Television. I'm your host, DJ PRS1. And to the left of me, I got, you know, our special guest as always, Mr. Lamont Elliott and the lovely Savvy E. <laughs> now, how y'all been doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. What about you? What you been doing this weekend? I've been busy. Been busy. How about you, my Lamont? Feel like we about to rap on these. <laughs> just go ahead and do a cipher. Now nah, I'm good. Uh, just just grinding as usual. You know, ready? can't complain. Ready for the game tonight? Oh yeah, you know we playing. Uh, what the D, the Commanders? I'm gonna yeah. say DC. The W. Yeah, the Commanders. So yeah, definitely walk out with this W. You know, and still ma- maintain the undefeated uh preseason. So you ready? Okay. You re- don't ask me if I'm ready, cause I don't watch football. I'm sorry. I I like um college football. I don't like. All right, so who's your favorite uh, college? Florida State. What are you talking about, son? Damn, they didn't have one? The Big Ten. Florida State. Mm, Okay. What's going Ah, on? Yeah. Who play on the the team? Don't worry about all that. That'd be like young people. (laughs) Oh, did you go? Did you? Shots. The people want to know. Don't 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 talk about my personal life on TV. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> just, you know, you you got fetishes upon fetishes. Oh my God! If we're gonna talk about that, this is not the show yeah. for that. No, I mean, we're not doing that. Not tonight. We, we have certain guests on here. In the last show I looked at that you were on. Okay, but this GBTV. <laughs> all right, this is not that. And we're not gonna talk about that type of stuff. Not yeah. today. Not tomorrow. Not ever. GBTV, right? Good right. This television. is good vibes. Not good vibes. We're gonna be television. vibing good over here. All right. Oh. All things go, Kevin yeah. took over. <laughs> <laughs> All things is here now, so the door's open. You know, you know what I'm saying. So hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, her interview was very exclusive. <laughs> you know, I wasn't expecting that, but you know, I handle my own. I handle my own. But you never disappoint though. In any interview, I'm telling you, if they go with it, she's going. To- That's right. Yeah. Look, if you if you take me there, I'm going to take that extra mile. Don't start with me. Don't do it. I swear, when sure I looked did. at the, the 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 interview, I was like, my, the whole time I kept thinking, "Lord, kill the visual, <laughs> kill the visual, Lord, kill turn the it off." I like whips and stuff. Lord, kill the visual. <laughs> no, well, whips and chains, kill the visual. I think I turned it off when she was like, um, "Men like the dildo." She was like, "Yeah." They put the legs in there. I was like, "You know what? Yeah, but, this is my wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, turn wait a minute." No, but wait I know they said I had a conversation first, but right. I had the conversations. For them to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm putting my legs up behind my head and you, and yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Pause. I was asked these questions. I just didn't come out and just say these questions, y'all. So, you know, I got to <laughs> defend myself on Plead the that. fifth. I'm not pleading no fifth. She was a little too happy to answer. That's where all things go. <laughs> Look, in this entertainment business, you got to just tell some stuff. Because, you know, when they find out things, they like to run with it and things like that. So you just go ahead and tell some stuff. They can't talk about it because you already put it out there. Right. I mean, now, but it's not my problem that y'all have, you know, y'all problems. That's my problem. Whatever problems you have, I had sir. none. Yes, you did. No, I yes, you did. <laughs> no, 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 no. So you I'm telling a... me you don't like to put your legs up in there? Uh, I wish the pause. <laughs> <laughs> I wish the I would. Right. <laughs> Even that conversation need to jump out there. We gonna have problems. Wait a minute. I saw you in the shower. So what you talking about? Clapping your together, you sir. Talking oh, about yeah, I, yeah. Uh-huh. I didn't see it, but I heard about. <laughs> yeah, it. them oh, good old TikToks. She, she saw me in the shower. I'm like, the uh, them good old TikToks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pam send pictures. Hey, hey Pam. All right. Hey Pam. We know what y'all be doing. Uh-huh. Oh, oh. The people want to know. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was a TikTok. That was actually fully full disclaimer. I was actually. I'm walking in halfway clothed from down bottom. Okay, oh, wow. okay. Oh, wow. But you gotta go watch this man TikTok. He crazy, man. He be doing all kinds of crazy things. Two o'clock in the morning. Mm-mm, Sleep. Mm-mm, I forget you work at night too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But while we doing this and we talking, I want to send a shout out to our other guy, Ramon. He couldn't be here today, so AKA sorry we what? miss you. What? You, you said Ramon, but Rama- Ramon. AKA RL. Oh, RL. Okay, Mr. RL. Mr. RL. Shout out to him. We miss you tonight, guy. Wish he was here. Don't mess up the stage, man. 
Get the government. I mean, people could be looking for it. You know oh, okay. Yeah. Hence the reason he's not here. Hence the reason why he could cut the FBI. government. FBI. Right. ATF. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Why are you um, holding the mic like that? <laughs> like, just give him the mic if he needs it. Yeah, I, I got to keep grabbing it back from stupid, though, because oh, okay. it's just like, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm. He has the mic. mic back. Nah. He, he doing it right. You could be doing the same thing. No, don't touch my mic. It's all off me. The sad part about it. The savviness out of it. The sad part about it. We got to share a mic. Right. It's this, yeah, that's know, what it should be. Diva. And I should, that's, there you go. Diva. Say it again. Right. I'm the only female, so I got to be the diva on the show. That's right, it. Right. That's all. But anyway, that's let's talk about your book a little bit. Talk about your book. Oh, my book. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, first off, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's up? It's a... Little book of short stories that I wrote called um, uh, "Visits to the Caribbean." I should have brought a copy so you guys can see what it looks like. But um, uh, only about seventy-seven pages. Oh, that's <laughs> um, I just kind of wrapped everything up. It's on Amazon. You can get it for about um, I think it's twelve ninety-nine. I think on Amazon. Um, no disclaimer, but yeah, about twelve ninety-nine. You can get it on Kindle. Look in that camera again and see where they can get it from. Because <laughs> the problem is with people, you put you bust your ass. Yeah, we can cut. I got that already. I know where you're coming from. Like, hey, when I go get my cup. Like, it really takes but a button. You can right, go to the right. internet. Right. Like, show your support. Show your, show your support. Yeah, it only takes one second to go on something, especially on your phone. You know, the technology is crazy now. So you can just go on your internet, boom, bang, purchase it. Half of your, just, my mind, I ain't going to say so. I was about to say so. They purchase for other things that come through the <laughs> mail. But, you know. Right. <laughs> Something that's going to you know, stimulate keep, your mind. Keep your mind out together, yeah, you sir. We're trying to be positive here. I'm just saying that people want to know. <laughs> you know um, what? <laughs> but yeah, support my man, man. He, uh, huh? well, and talk about supporting. Make sure you like and su- subscribe to GVTV. Come on now. Yep, yep. Get them Good likes vibes. up. Mm-hmm. So according to, uh, as Lamar was said, it took me about, I want to say about a year to actually fully finish it. Um, I was out of work for a while because my eye, one of my eyes got messed up, so. During my downtime is when I really finished it up. Um, but um, I want to say I started in 2020, 2021, somewhere around it during the pandemic. Okay. I started putting it together. Um, the only critique I had so far is that his stories were too short, but they are short stories. <laughs> and it's clean, good family stuff. I didn't have anything going crazy on there because I wanted it to be something that kids could look at as well. Um, but it was, I got the idea from basically going on cruises and cruise ships and coming off into different um, islands and seeing how people live and, uh, you know, that experience. So it's one of those things where I, I didn't create it off of a cruise. There's one story that you come off with a cruise ship, but the other stories were like, you know, I, I, it was all fictional. I, I had created it with like a 12-year-old girl coming into um, landing to see her dad for the first time, you know, after t- 12 years, you know, first time meeting her father, stuff like that. Little stories like that is what I had kind of okay. wrote in there. That's dope. That's dope. Stay off my mic. <laughs> but the, she don't want to shake. No, we, we, we don't not know where her mic been. <laughs> they coming for me today, guys. Oh, they coming, oh, but that's okay. That's okay. So, Mister Elliot. What? Wait, excuse me, Mister Lamont. Pass the mic. <laughs> what you been oh, doing wait, with your wait, mic? Wait, wait. First of all, we are gonna go. Not my full government. It's just Mr. strictly Lamont. LA on oh, here. Oh, Mister LA, Mister Lamont. Go. Yeah. This, all this right. Is, what have I been doing? Yeah. What you been doing with your mic? <sighs> you know, just trying to stay out. Stay out the way. Stay in my lane. Stay in the good graces of the Lord so he can bless me with the things I need to do to get to where I need to be to open up doors for other people. You know, things in that order. You know, that's what I've been doing. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. That yeah. sounds good. You know, ain't, ain't nothing. I don't really talk. I want y'all to see. You feel me? Because there's definitely some thanks coming. But, you know, we're we going to save that for another show. It ain't about me. I'm just in. Right, because it's the only shoes. an hour show. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying. So, you know, what about me? We're going to just stop him for a minute. But what I got going on is... She got a whole lot going on. Not really. Not really. But I do have a show coming up. So it was supposed to be in October, but we're going to have to change that, you know, because of certain things. But I'm looking forward to my lingerie line. It's called Saints and Sinners. So when I get more information on it, guys, you know, I'm going to shoot it out to y'all. So just keep looking at my um, my page and you'll get a lot of information. All things go. since we calipotent to that, you want to introduce our guests? Um... Yeah, matter of fact, no. I'm going to let you do that because your interview, I think you should bring the men. I think it's only appropriate. So You know what? It's like my interview going to go down in hell or something. What is going <laughs> hey. on? Mm. Like, what's my, be- my interview the best? 
Um, I wouldn't say the best, but I would say it definitely raised some eyebrows. And, mm, ha, ooh, yeah, type yeah, thing. Because yeah, people yeah. think I'm I'm an innocent person, and really I am. I really, but what you do in your bedroom is your own personal thing. It don't, it doesn't define who I am, really. No, absolutely not. Okay. All I'm saying is the, what the people want to know is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so turn it over to the people want to know. We got the crew, the mighty mighty crew. Minus one. Minus, minus one. one. Minus one. Shouts out. Shout there. out to her. So we're going to let y'all bring um, bring your girl in and give her some shout outs. But we got the crew. All Things Go Podcast in the house tonight. How y'all doing? Hey, hey. Wrap it up for us. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Doing yes. over there. Welcome. Oh. Welcome. Happy to be here. Thank, Thank you for having us. That's good. Thank you for being here. Thank you oh, for being I here. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. He's so chill and laid back. I mean, is it because we ain't had no, no alcohol on here and you ain't turned up? Because, you know, I'm just saying the people want to know. Hey. <laughs> This, this is not that type of show. This is good vibes. You know, when all things go, but all things we is turn in the, up. All things is in the building, so we <laughs> turn it up. I don't know. I don't know. I just got to I gotta feel it out first. Okay, I get you. I got you. So just let y'all know that we can say whatever we want to say on this show. Okay. Our show is about that. All right. Even though we call good vibes, that's what it is. We sitting back and we good vibing and we just talking. Like, we just people on the couch just having a conversation. We good and vulgar sometimes. Yeah. See, we we miss a one. He's but he's I really believe all things have landed in the building. <laughs> yes, so I did. mean, we ain't good vibes, but all thing goes are at good vibes. So there you go. You, you know. done? I'm, nah, I'm gonna keep saying it. About oh, me. good lord. Good four, anyway, five. can y'all introduce yourself? Starting with the lovely Miss oh. Kim over there. I am Kimberly Alexander. Oh, that's it. Damn. Right. <laughs> Wait a minute. These oh. ain't the same. Well, I'm E. E from All Things Go Podcast. Please follow, like, subscribe. Follow, like, we need to get our subscribe. shit up because we be doing our thing. Once you tune in, you gonna see what it really is. Yeah. And I, I, I must say, they they grind because is it okay to tell them just a little bit of the ingredients? Tell whatever you want. Okay. Bro. All right. They have maybe about two, maybe two to three, maybe four, maybe five interviews back to back. This man changes his clothes and all that. Yeah. So. They they work they grind. I I must say I I haven't seen nothing like that in my life. So yeah, in definitely. Your life? In my how, no. how old are you? Thirty. <laughs> hold up, wait a minute. What are you talking about, about me? Like, that, that, you said in my life. I'm just saying. Man, no, when a man but, giving it some props, just like, yeah, you want to step on it? No, no, no. Spot. It's for him. It's no, for him. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I, I I do give y'all flowers, bro. Because like I said, you you take your your. What a lot of people don't understand is. Mm, it's like, no, let me stop. Let me stop messing with But nah, what a lot of people don't understand is they don't take their craft seriously. And that's one thing I, I give hats off to to the company. You see what I'm saying? Company. Uh-huh. You feel me? I'm, I'm talking in the atmosphere to your company because a lot of places, as far as podcasts and, and radio, they, they're, you just go on and you just go with the flow. You feel what I'm saying? You already have your, sh- like, hey, you, you already, it's like you've done your homework already. Yeah, you know, I do a little bit. He definitely does. <laughs> I got to give him his flowers for that, too. He be, like, really prepared. Like, he keeps us in check. He he keep, you know. He I, I don't like that phrase go. of keeping y'all in check with y'all being women. I don't like how that's going to look. But. <laughs> no, I get you. Yeah. <laughs> like, come across a little wild. So, my, my, my first question, like, where does the chemistry, like, mm-hmm. how did you, like, discover or find, you know, the young ladies? Okay. Well, shout out to DJ Ashmo, who was in here, sadly. Shouts out to her. She's Shouts grinding. out. <clears throat> but I had a podcast before this one I'm on now. And yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, that one. It was called. Oh. Um, num, num, num. Right, right. I ain't okay. giving them oh, niggas right. no credit. Like, right, right. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Little man. She was actually, well, they both were actually guests on the last podcast. And, you know, seeing the chemistry there, it was cool. She actually said, I wouldn't mind hosting, you know, once you get the new one going on. I said, well, shit, let's see what's going on. Because it's supposed to have been like three hosts, three episodes, three, three. One ain't show up. But, you know, I figured that out. We worked it out. And they just stayed. You know, they kept coming back. And I appreciate y'all for that. You know? The show wouldn't be the same without y'all. And it wouldn't, I couldn't do no other show except for this you. Oh, oh, right. I don't even think they can hear you. Right. That's what I'm talking you, about. You real so shy really, today. You got to no, speak up no a little bit. Keeping in check is just that. You the glue. That's bad, but, but would be a better way to, to hold it, hold, hold yeah, it like all together. Yeah, like Elmer's, um, <laughs> super crazy. Gorilla. Gorilla. Gorilla glue. <laughs> yeah. Gorilla he definitely the glue, though. He definitely is a glue. He's a, a great podcast host. Like, he, 
and, and he that, do his thing. It takes a lot because not only no, y'all gonna make me cry with all these praises, bro. Your different locations, like the back. Oh like, yeah, I peep all that. You yeah, I be saying? like, yeah, be, okay. Sometimes be hard getting that shit. Yeah, what you saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, them, them locations sometimes, man. You have a spot for a little minute, then shit switch up. You got, but we're here. Right. One time I saw, I was like, damn, they had the gun range. And then, you know, he had the little sophisticated with the big screen with the logo. I said, yeah, you know, some people yeah, we just go and they got the little joints over their ears and we on it. All right, right, right. Joint, but... Okay. All right. Tag, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> so what um, motivates y'all to keep going and doing what y'all doing? I think, like, <sighs> I think, like, giving a platform to, like, people – especially from your own city, you mm -hmm. feel me? And seeing the support you get, even though we should be getting a lot more. But, yeah, I think, for me, anyway, I can't speak for y'all niggas. I mean, at the moment, E is really what motivates me to keep going because when I started the podcast, it was, like, out of my comfort zone. It was mm -hmm. something I'd never seen myself doing. Like, I'm overall a shy person. Um, and, like, I remember, like, the first, too. I was like so nervous. So at that time in my life, I was like, I'm just gonna do something out of my comfort zone. But like, e passion for the show and like how he support us as women, because you know, I mean, I don't feel like he extra or anything like that. But it's just different working with him. Like he make it easy for us. He's simple. Like he buys Mother's Day gifts and stuff. Okay. Like, Y'all better I take told, notes. I had, look, I had gained weight, <laughs> right? I had, I had mentioned like, you know, I'm fat. I'm fat. I ain't got nothing to wear. Why he went out and bought me um. He bought me some more uh, All Things Go uh, shirts, but he bought them in a bigger size. I thought that was so cute. Can I come on y'all show? <laughs> I'm about to jump <laughs> ship. <laughs> you gotta take a little notice as a man, you know? <laughs> I'm going over to All Hence Things Go, y'all. Hence, Hence the glue. Good ain't vibing over here. <laughs> I ain't getting nothing. I've been on the show for three years. So, and I'm the only female. <laughs> exactly. I was just about to get to that. He's the only guy. So you see what he does for the girls. You're the girl. So you got to do for the guys. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you <laughs> know, really let me let me defend guys. myself. When we first started, right, all the shirts that y'all wore was from who? Was from cool. who? Who got them? Who got them made? <laughs> all right. Okay. Cool. Let's, let's start that. Let's don't start no stuff. The store. Don't do her like that. <laughs> Thank don't you. do her like that. Shit. No, but we love Savvy. What the love got to do with it? <laughs> go ahead, Tina. <laughs> now go ahead, Tina. Lord Jesus. Somebody help these people over here on this Stego podcast. Yep. Shout out to Ramon. <laughs> RL, you know. RL. Hope I'm representing very well. Yep. You know. Lord Jesus. So go ahead, man. You got something to ask him? Because you don't even want to ask a question yet. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right so time over before that. the podcast, like what you guys do otherwise, I mean, you're... What, what what do you guys do like with your other jobs or what if you do have other jobs what do you do? I'm a prostitute. <laughs> he was going to say that. He made me we set ourselves up for that. One, huh? <laughs> we should have known from the podcast. <laughs> I knew sad. he was going to say that. No, no, I don't sell dick no more. Oh, so I actually, want... I actually have a job. You know, I work on the side of the road. <laughs> He's so sick. What? I don't. You, you like, said you work on the side I'm of the road. I'm looking for love. You we working on the side of the road doing yes. what? For love, he looking for a big booty house. No, booty I, house. I like That's I like slim women. You like slim women? Yes. Okay. You like them old? You like them young? Well, I like. Yeah, them, let's talk about that. I like oh. them just right for me. You know that age doesn't matter as mm -hmm. long as you're above age. Well, now none of that kale shit. <laughs> I just, I let it be known, you know. So, so like, what? So what's the youngest you would date? How old are you if you I'm you know, 36. You 30. Okay, so what's the age limit from 19. the youngest to the oldest? You said 19? Okay. No, not 19. That's, That's crazy. Kelly song started playing in my head. <laughs> Cuz he got hits. I mean, ain't no denying that. I would probably say 25 and up. 25 and up? Yeah. Okay. But what's your age cut off cut for the off. older? Yeah. I I don't think like it's a age cut off. It's a so what age you look cut off? Got you. You feel me? Like, okay. cause she could be old as shit, but she could still look. Got you. You know, a nice age. All right. I like that. I so, like that. Yes. I really like that. Would dentures play a part of? It? <laughs> well, like I don't. I mean, most of these teeth ain't real anyway nowadays. <laughs> you feel me? What they call composites or something? Like, right, right. So I mean, shit. Just leave them in when we out. You feel me? Like, <laughs> when you home, it don't matter. Yeah. 
I like that. I like that. Because, you know, you got a lot of guys that's very into all this big booty, big breasts, and all that kind of stuff. So I really like that. So what about you, man? Like, what's your age limit? I mean, I know you're in a relationship, so I don't, you know, just I'm... letting the guys know she's in a relationship. She, she is taking it. Hypothetically. <laughs> no, I mean, she said it on I'm the show. I'm not married, but I am in a relationship. I don't know. I don't think Take I have it. a um, cut She's not off. married, but she is date. in a relationship. All right, go ahead. Because uh, technically I'm single. But that's I, what I was getting to, but, but all right, go ahead. And that's the, you but know I'm what, dating. I feel you on that. If, it's, right, right, right. It's dating because so she's not. Can he sit here or they can't sit here? What? Meaning, if, if she, she says she's in a relationship, mm-hmm. but she says she's not married. But then she just said, I am technically single. So for it depends, I guess, on the guy that approaches you and come at. I'm not a cheater, though. Like, I'm not going to entertain so, but, somebody So that means else. you are in a relationship then? I am. I'm in a relationship, but single is married or single. Right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I like how she made yeah. women make up new rules. <laughs> they don't know what new rules. Like if you, when you check the box, it's gonna say single, married, Mary. divorce. Right. It don't say relationship. It don't say you got a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. It don't. It don't. It does not. So... It doesn't. You don't get no discounts for insurance to having a boyfriend. <laughs> you know, Come like on. that's but it's they, even it, married or single. Would it be like significant other or spouse or not? It don't say that. When you doing insurance, like <laughs> no, it don't. <laughs> depending on kind of job. But what is a significant other though? You y'all the half. The other half of what? Because my thing is technically a girlfriend and a boyfriend is really what it is. It's really like y'all it's, just dating dating yeah, each other. Yeah, it's a self. It doesn't really have a, a meaning. We put meaning to it. So I don't think significant other really yeah. um, is in that category. So we just you, put you that got in that women category. out here that's been with their boyfriend for about. That's five, not going to be me. Not saying you. Not. No, not, I'm just saying. I'm just saying in general. It's not pointing at nobody. Mm-hmm. But these women been in relationship maybe five, six years. Uh huh. And how y'all talking is cool, but I mean, from what I've seen, huh, no, it's not. You know, <laughs> women be jump. So. If, no, what are you let me let to me say, no no, no wait confused. wait so if it, don't be confused just follow okay <laughs> getting lost um hmm and so if your man was to cheat on you would you be upset I believe him would you be upset though extremely extremely upset extremely hurt yeah it's like oh. he want to say something what you want to say no because by your definition. It, there's no such thing as cheating because if y'all not married, y'all not in a relationship. That's no. what I, like. No. From, All right, so let's clarify some yeah, shit because I knew he was going. From, I knew he was that's going. That's what y'all just said. said. Okay. Right. Stand on it. No, she didn't say that. I'm single, <laughs> but back. I am dating for marriage. Like me and my guy only been together for almost a year. So it's not like I plan on this guy being my boyfriend forever. Like we're working towards some stuff. I'm not going to be calling him my boyfriend five years from now. Right. Do he know that? Yes. You sure? Okay. Oh, we talk about it all the time. Oh, okay. Hey, I mean, even with the conversation, man, be like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah baby, five years. And then when you leave, I be can like, I promise Listen. you. So, no. So, how long is the trial period? So, that's what we debate about because his timeline is a little different from my timeline. But, what is, what's his I, timeline? He said like five years for marriage. That's not going to work for me. What's three years for you? What? How many? Well, what's the. The question I feel is, like two to three. I, I feel like at least by three you should be. In yeah, age. yeah, I think so too. Cause I mean, the age that I am, See, I feel like then that that you putting pressure on people. I ain't putting no pressure. How you pressure. just how you just put how I'm, she just said it it's though. It's different when you're the in the age 20s, that I am. It's cool to date somebody. She's for five just saying years. the age that she is. She's not gonna. Yeah, you know, I don't drag it that long. Yeah, I, that don't have nothing to do with her guy. Enough life I mean, where I we know. We know. Listen. From what she's saying, and please don't nobody. I swear, men, uh, they they hear something men so totally Mars. different. Yeah, she's they totally different. Mars. Can you? Oh, ain't no hand different. Like y'all, y'all say one thing, and then y'all going to a different topic. Yes, what and y'all they're just trying said. to make it seem like we the issue. I'm so confusing. Back to the topic. Right. Where did I jump from? Y'all just said, if we not married, we single. Okay. Because okay, on what? So, the rules so, of my time relationship. Out. Okay, time I'm out. listening. So mm-hmm. by that definition, All things going this motherfucker. There's no such thing as cheating if you're dating someone because y'all not even really together because y'all okay, not married. Wait, Stand wait, on wait, it. But that's how y'all just put it. Wait, that's how you put it. Hold up. up. Wait a minute. May I say something? Come on, lawyer. Let me say this. Let's say something about a family member, boy. Shut up. <laughs> Don't move it. Don't <laughs> no. move the narrative either. Let's stay no, right no, there. No, no, no. That's what she does. But... Mm-hmm. 
You know what? Go ahead, Kim. Because these two go no, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. So in a relationship, y'all agree on certain things. Right. In my space, we have agreed that we are exclusively dating each other. Right. So You're he knows if I was to find out that he was dating somebody else, if he was sexually intimate with somebody else, I'm out. Right. Those, but those Ooh, are the rules of our relationship. Right. I don't know what's what's your, question? your relationship or your relationship, or your, but those are the rules of our relationship. We have decided to exclusively date each other. Right. Right. So legally, am I single? Yes, but I am exclusively dating. Legally. <laughs> <laughs> legally. Because the only time you're not single is when you're married. Right. Having a boyfriend do not say that you're not single. Like she said, when you check down the line, it don't it's say anything say, about. I see exactly boyfriend. what you just said because they still not grasping yeah. what oh it was just said earlier. It, but hey, again, in my listen, relationship, I don't want no smoke. I don't want no problems. We're not dating other people. Right. I ain't got fake. So my so. thing is, it's what you and the person talk about. So. Someone asked me a long time ago, what do you think about dating? And I said to them, it's what you and the person talk yeah, about. Yeah. So dating is, if you say, okay, are we dating and we're exclusive, we're not going to see anybody else, then yes. Are we dating and we're going to see other people, but we're still going to work on each other? Yes. It's whatever the conversation, like we said on your show, is having a conversation. Yeah. Whatever the conversation is. Mm. So that's if I'm just dating you, that means technically I'm still single until you take me is off the market. Is that a part of the conversation? What? You can't yes, use that in your vocabulary. Yes. When you're telling that man, I'm dating you, but technically I'm still single because there's not no ring on my finger. Is that a part of the conversation you had yep, with you? It should yeah, be. It should, should be. No, no, no. We're not doing that. Don't say but it no, should you're be. Right. I it asked doesn't. You, okay, it does not. It does not. But it should be a part of the conversation. See how the, see yeah. how the, the, the lie come out? <laughs> and she know I was about to say you're a liar. <laughs> I know that's my shit. Yes. But she had to. I forgot she to got that. I'm sorry. She got it. You a liar. You a liar. Y'all love to understand. Yes, it's just that's just how y'all see things, but it's okay. But we go, good. going back to the timeline, I mean, okay, let's say you say like three years, um, you know, would be the situation. Wouldn't it depend on, I guess, the the maturity of your relationship? It's true. Because my thing is, let's say you know, you know, all things good, one first year, second year, <laughs> third year, I I go through, let's say, pandemic struggle, something happens, I lose my job, I'm screwed with you, huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? I got no money. I'm broke at this point. You understand what I'm saying? Because so oh, like, it's, 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 it's a lot of relationships yeah. out here. When it comes to finance, everything is good. And, and, and sh I tell people, you know, when you when you work for somebody, anything can happen anything at any day, anytime, anywhere. Work for somebody, but realistically, mm -hmm. I mean, even without being in a relationship, men, real men, aren't good when their money is messed up. Exactly. Period. True. So even if you were single and you lost your job, mm -hmm. you're going to be in a hole. You ain't need, most. A lot of men. I'm not going to say most men, but a lot of men don't even want to think about a relationship or being with a female when their money not right. Who you talking about? So broke niggas don't want to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> well, men that don't have money. Here shouldn't be trying to date anybody. No. Why? They should be trying. Us. They should be trying to get their life, get together. Their life together. But you, oh. you, what you said? Stop I thought minute. love ain't cost a thing. No, no, but go wait ahead. Wait a minute. But what you said is trying to get laid. That's different. If you're trying to get laid, no, you don't need to have money just well, to try to get laid. To get a sugar mama. Well, they get a sugar mama. Right. No, 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 but the but question you're trying, is, you're trying if you're to have in a relationship, relationship uh -huh. and and mm -mm. somebody falls on hard times, which it could be the man. How is that situation looking? Why y'all in that relationship? Like right I now, I mean, I, if he falling on, her, first of all, I don't. You need to focus on getting yourself back together. Like, oh y'all, oh, you telling the truth you. on this part? Wait, hold on. Yeah. Okay, what about we? Not, like, it's, <laughs> it ain't we till we married. Wow. Okay. And that's, and I, that's why I'm saying it comes back now. I'm pressured because as the guy, I'm like. Lost my job. I can't go home and tell you. I ain't going home. No, no, no. Let me say. <laughs> I, I, I hope people we comment on this shit. Because it was we. You lose your job. It ain't we because we ain't married. You see how when her facial expression changed like, yo, and everything changed when, 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 when that income ain't come. And it could be for only two, like five days. Like, you know, if the brother ain't got no charges. <laughs> what my, I want my man to feel like he can't come home can't and tell me that he lost his job. But when he come home and tell me he lost his job, I want him to have a plan too. Right, exactly. Or maybe you want him to have a plan and get the fuck out. There? No, have a plan to. You get what I'm saying? The, like the, I want him. To, I'm not automatically, but even if he like, damn babe, let's sit down and you know figure some shit out. But it can't just be I just lost my job. Well, he might still be in a. You know how it be when you lose. 
especially if you're making good money, you live in a certain lifestyle. You making sure you keeping babe, Bruh, you know, lace and lace and diamonds and all that. Trying to figure it out ain't going to pay them. Because uh, alongside you, can of you me. Give him a time frame? Like give him a week or this two? This is the thing, though. Alongside of me, you got bills. The first of the month is rolling. So alongside of Paying me, and I'm not seat. a bill. First of all, let's let's go <laughs> back. Because y'all didn't ask me what I did. <laughs> Y'all skipped over me. <laughs> so let's be clear. Right, because we did. And we because just started talking about something. Oh, hey, go ahead. Will, he portrays me to be like a gold digger. I no, I, I don't portray you to be like nothing. All right, so, Miss Kim, you speak. What do you do? Number one, what do you do? I'm a realtor. Okay. Full time realtor. Number two, I'm a full time stylist. Number three, I'm a full time uh, salon owner. So I work, you know, and I'm an entrepreneur. So. The money might be there, the money not. I'm not, you get what I'm saying? People go to work, and as long as they show up, they get money. It don't work like that for me. So every day that I open my eyes, I got to figure shit out. Right. Okay. So I, I get that, and all hats off to you. Real, real, real shit. But, you know, it's different from a person that works 9 to 5, right? Well, I really. You never work 9 to 5? Um, I actually work more than people with a 9 to 5. I haven't worked a 9 to 5 since I was in my 20s, probably like. 2020 maybe something like that but i don't date a lot of men i haven't dated a lot of men that work a nine to five so i date i've dated mostly entrepreneurs Trust. okay you said okay. pharmacists Huh? Street from <laughs> oh my bad. Yeah, I, he's my biggest hater. It's so funny. He is really. Hey, like what'd you say? Lies. <laughs> <laughs> biggest supporter, no, biggest truth teller. That's all I am. Of, um, I'm scared of um, scammers and drug dealers and stuff like that. I don't want to go to. I don't since, go to jail. Since, oh. Really, you gonna go to jail? I don't want to go to jail. That's a 50-50 thing. I don't thing. want your op trying no, no, to kill no. me. No, no, no. Let's be realistic. I don't want none of no, no, no. Let's be realistic. <laughs> if you're dating that. somebody that's selling drugs, Stop. right? I'm Wait a minute. No, no, no. I don't if want you're dating target. someone, because I dated drug dealers growing up. When you date and drug I had dealers, to, right? But you're that's going not to be. Who I want to once again, if they go with. to jail, you be so called locked up with them. Mm -hmm. That's the BS. That's your choice. And no, no, no. They don't put a gun. No, no, no. But you just say I'm answering the question. If you spend the money, you got support when you're down to. Uh, I mean, that's only right. Out of what? Fear? And the thing but about, I don't want to do that no more. Right. So and the thing about it, drug dealers, no they got haters. I, listen, and if they know who their girl I, is. She said no more. <laughs> because when I was dating those type of guys, when they came for that, so, I was. I was the supporter, right? All right. Yeah. So, okay. So, how can I put this? Not every. Well, maybe the guys that y'all dated didn't have an exit plan. Like, they was just doing it just... How many drug dealers have an exit plan? plan? They, listen. Well, I mean, that, that, that's your Why fault. they I have mean, an exit plan? Man, that ain't, that ain't, they could get arrested. You could be like, hey, babe. As the, I mean, y'all spending the money. Look. Smith, oh, Lord, now, say me. You know how you say. That should be a conversation, yeah. right? But, that should be a conversation. Yeah. yeah but the whole have an exit it's plan. No, 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 no. It's not... It's giving options. It's not nothing about forcing anything. If you If you love him... You know, y all, y all to why do we as women always got to be the one yeah. that figure out men shit? You the drug dealer, you got to figure out your shit before you even met me. Because you she, can't but be, but when the money is there, hey, babe, if I got this, and he's giving it to you. No but as soon as the drug fall on his face, oh, now I got to do the time. Yeah, you were spending it like it was nothing. But we said that. Right, we said that. We said that. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to I he said, said I dated a drug dealer. <laughs> he was locked up, and I was locked up with him. I was like, and I was every week. Wait a minute. Like, like, I was, was going to him, keeping money in the conversation. I mean, conversation. Well, I didn't and, have and the best though. friend okay. on the homie. That's the one at a time. I didn't need to keep money. I mine was. I actually had a good one. He was sending. He was making sure I was getting money. Like I didn't have to send him no money while he was locked up. He did three and a half years. I didn't have to. I but I had to make them visits every week. And when he called, I had to be there. And that is a lot. You didn't have to. You you wanted to keep getting that money. So you. But you just you heard what he just said. You was spending the money. And that's the that all she was thinking about. She knew once. That missed that one phone call, missed a visit. That was a cutoff, right? Didn't it? No, it well, ain't. Why is it gonna cut me off? No, My guy was in love with me. He was right. not gonna cut oh, so me you off. He would have been more distraught about me not answering the call. We would have been most equally of them distraught. Yeah, you were smart because if you would have left him while he was in distraught, you put money on your head. <laughs> he would. <laughs> My good lord. Ever. He wouldn't have killed you ever. No. I hope not. He wouldn't oh, have Jesus. put money on my head ever. No. <laughs> so, so Mr. E over there. So, what's what's your thing? What's what's your what's your do's your don'ts or whatever about females? 
oh, my do's and don'ts. Like, I'm, I'm a simple guy, you know. I just, I don't like no black nail polish, no hairy legs, no hairy pussy. You feel me? Uh, the attitude, I could deal with that. It's just simple stuff. I, I don't think I ask for a lot. Like, don't be broke. You can always say that. Don't be broke? What you mean by don't be broke? I mean, you could be woman broke, because half y'all broke. So you could be like <laughs> woman broke, but don't be like broke broke. Broke up, like I mean, not I working. Right. Like, I like, like you know how some women be like, oh, he got to have one or the other. I feel the same way. You got to have one or the other. You got to at least drive or have your crib. You feel me? Uh-huh. Both. Whew, that would be beautiful. But one or the other. Anything I'm else? lost with words over here. So she got to have a car crib. I thought that was shit was standard. Right. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, I'm kind of lost over here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what you lost about? Him. Why? Because he said, don't be broke. Because what is broke, broke, though? You ain't got no money. What is broke? Well, you don't have no money. You don't have no right, money. Right, but this is my in. thing. If you don't like them type of women, would you? why would you even want to date a woman like that if she, if she doesn't don't have act any like money? like y'all don't have them guys to come around. Thank you, be, bro. You know, but no, here, no, no. there, everywhere. Nope. No what? lay down Mm-mm. the good. No what? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No what? Lies. Mm-mm. Lies. I didn't do that since I was in my 20s, no. See how you still did it, though. And okay, that's the thing I don't about, get. It's always yeah, a, about, I, I ain't do it, and, but you did it. But my yeah. thing is, my defense is, I was married at 20-something, like 21, 20, I forgot. Well, everybody so, it wasn't lucky like you know, that. So you were so, and I was so married you, for 20, over 20-something 20 years. Yeah. So you can do all that now, then. You but now, no, I don't. I mean, mm-hmm. I've been single since then. Right, you out here plugging. No, I'm not. I'm okay. doing me. I'm not plugging, like for real. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, just because we had that What's conversation. What's the definition of plugging? X four. <laughs> you asked. <laughs> oh, I so. From Black Ink, one of you on Black Ink. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God! He tell you. He show you video. He show homegirl video. So you don't, you, but you don't know. Cause she asked you the question. Oh, oh, you wanted it for me. I yeah, thought you gave you a better description. Oh, she was. But I think you should tell her. No, 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 <laughs> I no. Know. She asked you. Never mind. The question. <laughs> no. she, she was talking about on our on our podcast. I know. Yeah. I just was. Just wanted to get me said. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, we gotta get you started over there. You too quiet. <laughs> me? You got your legs crossed. <laughs> I'm comfortable. It's good vibe in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's good vibe. The couch like, is very comfortable. You too no, quiet over there, sir. Good. Something ain't right over there. We gotta stir you up. Gotta stir no, that. Stir me up. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm ready to go. Y'all just gotta ask questions. Okay. Who you got something for? Cause you real quiet I, I, over there. I, Cause I'm the only married one in the group. So I'm like, <laughs> how long you been married? I love talking to married people. That ain't I was sound right. 2004. <laughs> Are you happily married? Yes, I am. If would you, you say the same thing off the camera? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. Okay. Yes, I hey, would. don't put yeah. nothing in his food tonight, don't, all right? Don't, don't, Please don't put nothing in his food. And this is my second marriage. Give, um, give us first some advice. first marriage was a flop. Not with mm. a flop. <laughs> I can safely say that. How long was the first was marriage? Well, <laughs> that lasted, I want to say, um, seven years? Yeah, it was seven years. Right. I wouldn't what, think that was a flop then. Seven mm. years? Mm-hmm. I had a flop. I was married for two years. Didn't work out. How long was the trial period before that? It's um, <laughs> a good question, boy. <laughs> no, but it wasn't long. It was like one, one, and terrible. we dated for a year. We were engaged for a year, and then we got married. We were married okay. for two okay. years. Okay. How old was you when that happened? 25. I feel like I was 31. Okay. I think I got married. At, uh, yeah, I think I got married at 31, and it was a wrap at 33. Right. Wow. So, and that's why you feel the way that you feel, and you're in the stance that you are. Because, like, when you when you get married one time for females, anyway, the next time it's like, look, dude, we can't be all this long time and playing yeah, games and, and, and all that. Yeah, and this is forever. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I understand. But no, I feel like be... go downstairs in the basement, go to sleep. But so if he not... like, yo, I'm done. I'm out. You were hitting not... in the head with a vase. Oh, I'm not about. I don't, I'm not putting my hands on nobody. I'm not calling the police on nobody. But like, yeah, we gotta figure this out. We gotta make this work. He come home. You come home, and like all his stuff is gone. <laughs> then I can't make that shit work. Oh, right. I, I'm just I saying. can't make it work if I can't find a nigga. So, I, if, so if he's oh, that God. unhappy where he want to move all his shit out while I'm at work, then yeah, do that, sir. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I don't see how why all exactly. y'all think all that shit that happened with other guys in the past. Y'all got to bring that to the future for y'all next relationship. What y'all don't, don't, don't realize please. is how bad y'all, like... It's Who's the, y'all? Because I'm not that same men, guy you talked men, to before. Men do not realize how bad cheating damages a woman. Yes. 
They don't. Y'all, I, if y'all but really, I'm not the guy who cheated said. on you. Your ex cheated on you. That and that may be true. Bring but it ain't a maybe. Really it's, it's knew, true. Y'all probably would not cheat on us. Mm-hmm. If you really knew, exactly. like, how it damaged If y'all knew how much fun it was, maybe y'all would cheat more. I, I, oh, I wow. I think it's not that much fun because if it was that much fun, you would be with that person you cheated on. It wouldn't just be a fuck. I, 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 okay, I agree. Che- cheating is bad, I think, all the way around. <laughs> thank but, you. But, <laughs> but <laughs> my thing is, he can women are really it. stronger at Cheat at uh, uh, being cheated on the men. We not fucking that we strong. Some bitches, but we get cheated I, on. You know what? I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna agree with that because yeah, the, the reason why I, I'm, I'm gonna agree with that. Yourself. I'm gonna tell you right up. because I have talked. I have two brothers, right? And I'm the only girl, and I'm the youngest. And you know, talking to them, they like, yeah, no, they got to go. With us, we'll take you back, right. all that kind of right. stuff. Right. But, but we be mentally right, fucked right, but we be mentally up. Fucked up. Like, so, but we will take you back. So, but men, they'll be like, nah, you got to go. But you know so what, what y'all I'm saying is, y'all not, when, y'all not there mentally to take a nigga back. So y'all really be no, messed up. No, we are there no, mentally they because back. it be the love. Like, yeah, we, yeah. we love. We love D. So I understand that. But y'all know these the women right What's the saying? We love pretty hard. But no, what's the saying? When we cheat, we just there to f- and get the fuck on. We ain't Sometimes. trying to see shit. Oh, y'all think Sometimes. when we cheat, when y'all like, cheat, it's e- y'all emotions. I don't know because these days, these women, yeah, these are women, is they, yes, they are. They, they, they like, like men. Men. but I don't know if they I cheat. Shit. I think and they I just out here, you know, getting their rocks up. Yeah. No, but some of these is so funny. Y'all know we're getting a salon. Some of these girls is like they like the the niggas like you do it oh, I could do it I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it and, and they're gonna do it to now and I'm gonna do it hurting. better yeah, yeah. you only hurting right. yourself though because it's just like, you feel like it's because, a trauma listen, thing with women how you think about it but you finally get with the man you want to be with right and some majority most men is not into worried about how many men you have been with before you know before y'all got together some men are though. I say some men are but the men that are. And hopefully, you know, if you've been out there, he find that out. Because it's always going to be a dude like, yo, that's your girl. You know, me and her, she, she was a freak. And, bop, bop, bop. and then he said, he's like, yo, what the? Mm-hmm. And the next thing you know, you're going to come home to his stuff being gone. TV, yo. my best oh, friend. That that nigga is the girl, bro. <laughs> Roll out while she at work. Right. Either that or get the talk. Right. What, is it, what is it to talk about? It's either I you, think that's what? immature. Oh, that's immature, because bro. You can't that's sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, wait, 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 wait a minute. Everybody that's got a immature. past and a history. Right. Right. So you know, I'm not saying. I'm just, it is some guy, I've, I've had conversations where some dudes be like, no, nah, I can't handle that, bro. But, but do you I, have I to tell leave her, like, in the middle of the night? You, he thought she was a virgin? We know she, the, but you didn't think she was a, a no. scallywag neither. You know, What's you, a scallywag? You put your sneaker in. <laughs> oh, shit. If he was putting his dick in the whole time, he liked it. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Hopefully, my bad edited that part out. I didn't oh. do a hot dog down the hallway before, too, but it wasn't you that type of situation. Hot dog down the hallway. Yeah, you know, wow. them, them type, you get quick, like, you let them keep walking. I'm yeah, confused. Can somebody <laughs> oh, re- re- replay that for me? So, you're saying that if you meet somebody that mess with your girl, I wait a minute, listen. You met right. somebody, you had a friend, and you was like, yeah, I know I know that girl. We, we did blah, me, blah, blah. I'm blah. not saying nothing. But I'm just saying. I wouldn't do that. And so, it's some men like that, E? Hell yeah. Yeah, it's some men that act like, like women. No, but it's not. Like, some is looking out for their man. Like, look, still I still lying on that dick. So that. you like, know that. You sure you, you give him an option. You don't be like, oh, don't mess with her. Like you, but you give that info to be like, yo, whatever he do, what she going he do? can't say, you know. Because just, just for, he come back and be like, you knew that shorty was like that? What you going to tell him, nah? I mean, what's your opinion? Because I, I need to know. Uh, it, it depends on who the nigga is. If, who if you it's your home, like, I'm saying your homie. If it's my homeboy who rock, that's, that's something different. If yeah. it's like, you know, a nigga you know when you see out, but like my, my nigga, you ain't, that's you ain't crazy. Talk, I'm yeah, saying oh. somebody that's in the, in the, Ooh, in the G court. In but I would think before you even take it there, your homie and know. But you what if home. it was like years and years and years and yeah, years ago? 10, that? 15 years ago. I think... If it's my close homie, I feel like I would already knew that yo yo. Yeah, right, right, right. I don't think right. you would. I think I would. I had that situation before. That's why. I... Oh, what happened? You um, smashed him. Well, I, I told him that I really like I, I I'm a respect person. I be big on respect. I like play that. I feel like shit. you can handle anything Lies. if it's done <laughs> respectfully. So I told the guy like, look, I mean, we had dated each other like 
early, early 20s. And this probably was like five years ago. So I told him, like, I met your friend and I like him. And nine times out of ten, I'm going a, I'm to a talk to him. And he ain't like it, but he had to respect it. And I talked to the friend. If, it, right, if right. me, if that was the past, I don't know. But that is a good he question. He was mad about it though. Right. But that is a good question. Like How it. would you feel if your homeboy was in that situation? Like you dated a girl mm -hmm. or whatever. And then like 10 years from now, he was like, yo, I want to talk to her. But, it depends but he too, know. Right? I, I will. Yeah. It depend on how deep y'all was in that relationship. If you was a hit. But even like 10 years. I mean, if you wanted that bad, bro, go ahead. Like it's 10 years. Like, nigga, nigga passed that. See, and I was in a situation like that. So I was single. I was a cop back in the day. And, um. Cops we, be freaks. Well, right. So we were. Y'all should be right. Man. So <laughs> I was working a gig at a, stri at a strip club. Oh. He was a stripper at a strip club? No, I was working a gig. Oh, okay. The door. okay. I but, uh, one of the That's the way I thought, but too. One of the strippers, it wasn't a relationship. It was just one of them, you know, we'd go yeah. back to my house. I'm single. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no girl or nothing like that. And she just wanted to get a rock club. That's what all it was. We were doing our thing, you know. So years down the line, I'm, I'm like 10, 15 years later, my homeboy from the military, I mean, like, we was real tight. We like brothers type thing, right? Real best friends type thing. Always at my house. You know, we ride, we riding all the time. Shit pop off. I can know I could call him up and we rolling. Yeah. Um, I'm walking into a grocery store and I see her and I was like, Hey, what's up? You know how we doing? Because we still cordial, right? And it was because mm -hmm. it was nothing. It was just one of those things where, like you know, we basically we were shaking hands. I'll put it like that. But anyway, mm. yeah, <laughs> it was hands. one of those casual things, right? We never had a relationship. Whoever she was, you know, it was it was one of those. She her face lit up. She was like, oh my god. Um. So then when she saw me, she was like, oh, and she got she give me like the little side eye, and she walked around. I was like, okay, what's up? So then right after that, I see him walking up. I didn't put two and two together. They stayed together or none of that stuff. Mm. So I was like, I was like, yo, what's up, man? She she turns back. She sees me dapping him up and stuff. And then he was like, yo, he, he said, you got to meet my girl. And I go up there. He said, this is my fiance. Um, and, and you know, we about to be married. Did Look. he know she was a stripper? No, because this was oh. a part of our, our lives where we was never around. And she's looking at me like, shut the fuck up. Don't say shit. Don't say shit. <laughs> and I'm like, That's so picky. after, you know. Did you say goes, shit? No, he goes in the grocery store. She pulls me up first. And she's uh -huh. like, please, don't blow my shit up. Blah, 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 blah. You know, he's not going to marry me. Blah, blah, all this shit. And I'm like, really? no, I'm not. I said, but that's my boy. I went through a dilemma thinking to myself, should I tell him? I don't know if I, he's my boy. So did you? Yeah, did you? I didn't have to. She ended up saying it, but she said mm -hmm. that I wanted her so bad and I was all dumb. She had to throw her. some salt on she it. She threw so much salt. Did he I marry you? Yeah, he did marry her, and but we, we, he stopped. So, so y'all not cool time. no more. He stopped talking uh. to me. I was, I was the dirty, the grimy dude, you know. So it was like, damn man. So what is the bro code then? So right. yeah, when do you, when do y'all respect the my, bro code? My opinion, don't say nothing. Bro code be phony though, because men yeah. really, yeah. men care, but they'll act like they don't care. Like they don't, don't care. Yeah, like they don't care. Like they don't care. If, but if, if she choose a fucker, if it was no strings attached. Why would he care? See, but like, what my situation? No feel. Y'all, it's I, a I hit and miss. You do that that guy like me like that. Yeah. But we didn't date long. Right. Like it wasn't like he was my man. We had some years and we didn't date long. It might was like a a summer sit like a couple of months. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like we was. I don't even think we made it to like a year. And I was in my early twenties. I'm like. And that's what I mean. It was the same thing. Yeah. With me, if she choose and put that like, dick in her. It was one of them things to pass. Oh, I'm lonely tonight. Let me see who I, I can call her up. And I know there's no strings. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, our situation was like that. We was dating, but right. it just. But nobody answered the question. Like, what is the bro code? Bro, I just told no you. Code. They if, act like they if don't she care. choosing, fuck her. They yeah. act like okay. they don't care. Because as, as the bro, you, but again, yeah, you gotta if, act if like it, you don't care. But you can't care. If, if you can't say you care. But if it's no, if it's if she choosing, I can't if care. It's, if it's a jump off, of course you like yo. Go oh ahead. no, we ain't talking about jump off. Jump offs is jump. But off. if it's yeah. like, but my but some niggas do be falling in love with the jump offs. If it's your ex, if it's if it's your ex, I just think that it's just certain things you ain't touching. If I was in a, a relationship, like we literally live together, we got kids together, you know that's that's a, a no touching yeah, that's situation. A whole I take my shit back. Situation. Yeah, if she choosing, yeah. fuck, I ain't got time. That's a whole. I mean, you can't stop him, but yeah. you, he like if she want to go that bad. If you why not it be my bro than the next nigga? I don't know. Oh my, let that God. nigga get that pussy. But my my, my I hate him. <laughs>
It's my guy. I hate him real bad. Fuck, nah. it's better than a stranger. <laughs> the shared war stories. Nah. That's... I, I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't want to... I don't want... Um. Yeah, I don't want nobody I know sleeping with nobody I slept with. I just... I don't Me want either. That. And I don't want nobody... My yeah. I don't want nobody my, I know for a fact one of my girlfriends to have. Yeah, I don't... That's like... Yeah. I was in a situation where... um. Yeah, and I wasn't cool with that. Y'all know but, what the but, funny thing? But what did thing? you find out after the fact? That would, how does that change things? Y'all I mean, know. it's too late for that, but it's yeah. just like, I still wouldn't want that. Y'all, the it's funny thing that. is, I probably shouldn't have fucked with this guy because <laughs> the same guy wound up fucking with my homegirl and I just stopped, I just, I just stopped fucking with I could not do That's it. That's what you get, And though, I yeah. liked him. That's what you I get, I really though. liked him. I couldn't, mentally, I couldn't do it. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's like something about it. Like, I can't. Because you got all them girls who come in that salon. Kill the visual. <laughs> That's I'm my just new saying, thing. people want to know. Kill people want to know. Visual. Niggas want to know. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I just, I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I don't. I'm I can't not, see myself. I you just can't, can't infiltrate my career like that. I mean, and yeah. you did it unintentionally, but I can't. Nah, I can't. You said infiltrate my you career. Can't right. infiltrate my career. <laughs> I feel like that. that. Like, and I mean, that's she wasn't even one of my closest friends. But well, now we she cool. wasn't one of my closest friends because homeboy we, got down. You know, she's an associate. We have. A no, she just said right. A she very said they've been close associate. associate right. No, yeah. That's a, very, a new one for me. Associate. Like, that's very my close girl. associate. You, know, like, you ain't my friend. Yeah. You ain't my homie. You ain't my bestie. But you're a very but, but close that's why associate. That's because she's not a person right. that I talk to every day. day but right. we are very, very cool. Like, she's right. been in my house. I've been in her house. I know her mom. She know my mom. You know, yeah, like. That's, even too, after that's too close. That, even after she fucked the nigga? But bullshit before. No. I'm talking about what about after? That's my girl. Like, I'm not. she's not going to stop being my friend because we fucked. Yeah, it's because we fuck the same nigga. Like. Oh, yeah, you couldn't even say it out your mouth. She, she like to play innocent, she, don't she? she hey, she fun. Like, She's like, ba -ba. Damn, all things, yo. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. What do you say? Yeah, so did y'all did y'all like discuss it? Yo, it was crazy because we in a salon. War stories. Because that's my girl. So we would do each other hair privately. I do her hair to do. And it's like, yo, what's up with you? What's up with you? And she talking about her nigga. And I'm like, yo, your nigga sound like my nigga. And yeah, it was the same nigga. Oh. Mm. He must was drilling the fuck out of both of y'all. That's right. Uh, <laughs> but you know what's crazy? I, so I messed with two girls that yeah. messed with guys that I dated. One, one I was, um, I was engaged to, I and I found out. But me and her wasn't like cool, cool. We was just friends. Engaged Did that make y'all closer? No. Nah. Oh wow. I'm, no, no, no. Because the thing about it, I don't talk about it. Like the oh, person God. was trying to pull it out me and say things, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feed it to that. This this is Gotti's question. Oh, what's your question, Gotti? He, he said, "Was it two girls you was messing with, or girls that you knew? Because you girls did say that that I knew. Okay, messing right. with his you friends. did say that. You but I was messing I with his friends. Oh my god! I was about to say, what the like, is that together. another world for you? Like uh -oh. you, like this, don't get me started. New shit about Savvy all week. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all terrible. I'm oh, innocent. <laughs> that's my new thing. Yeah, oh, was, kill the visual. And you know what's funny? Because when people say that shit, you be like, yo, that's what you just said. How are you going to get offended exactly. or what I just repeated or what I heard? They say, but like, I like that's slide, what I exactly right, what you about. My thing is I'm talking about we were mm -hmm. cool. Your you thing. Yeah, yep. Yeah. My that's whole it. thing. Yeah. yeah Sammy, do you, do you have an OnlyFans? No. Oh, okay. you sure? Oh, my God. No. Why do you do that? I mean, you can. Play something up. All things go. And um, good vibes, yeah. color vision, and actor um, R. Um, what should I use? Whatever you better call me R. L. I like over here what? just because I have fetishes and I like certain things. Don't mean lies. I'm, no, <laughs> don't think that lies. I'm out here buck wild doing crazy stuff. Because actually, I'm a very born person. And I'm a one. I don't know person. about you no more, man. We, like you yeah. surprised me. You told us what was in no, the sex that's bag. You don't, we so don't talk about that. No that's, that's not something that we talk about. <laughs> What you say? <laughs> Told us what was in the sex <laughs> bag. That's me. not a, that don't sound boring. It sounds like a lot I'm of shit. I'm talking about on. I don't I don't do a lot of dating. I'm not out here just going, you know, doing this to different men. It's a man that I'm in a relationship with. And if that's what he like to do, that's what we do. You giving him dildos though? So if he like it. Oh, that's a problem. Like I It's don't. not for them. Boring. Shut up. You just said you was together. born. <laughs> I'm talking about in, in that arena. So basically you saying that you lit in the bedroom, but you're a boring person I'm on the daily. I'm talking about, yeah, like my everyday life, I'm boring. I go to work. I do my show. I do that. I don't, you know, I don't. I haven't dated in years. You do the candle shit too when you be lighting the candle? Oh, no, I don't. I mean, if that's what he want, but I don't like it to be okay. done to me. 
Right. What? Yeah. You don't like what being done here? Yeah. <laughs> some people like, 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 like the hot wax. When the hot wax leak off and hit your skin. I said she don't. Let me say this. I don't like anything that that um I like pain, but I don't like things that turn me off. So I don't like people licking in my ear. Like that's weird to me. Like that's really weird. <laughs> His face. I'm you like dying. pain, but you don't. I'm talking about like excruciating pain. Then don't say you like away. pain because you don't no, like pain. Because, no, because he's thinking like if that's no, weird. no, no. It's a level. <laughs> it's a level to pain. It is. But you, you got to be in a like. So funny. Know I'm over here wondering like right. how side note. There's a dude Kendrick right now burn. sitting on the side watching this taking notes. <laughs> no, it's a level. It's a level to pain, but I don't like. What's um, the levels? It, it's a level. Is it a, it's an ouch. Hmm. Like, uh, hey, you gotta have a safe word. So. Do you like the oh. skin broken? Huh? Like if somebody bites you, like can no. they break the skin? Mm-hmm. Well, sight. No, 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 you no. like the well? Look, this is not about me. Ah, let's, what's let's the same good vibe? It's not about the visual. It's not about me. Let's not turn it back to so- savvy. No, we're not doing that today. You, you gave the, the exclusive. No, I was just saying that I'm just, what's the I don't want people to think I'm out here doing freaky stuff all the time. No, it's just with the person that I care about. Like if I'm in a, in a whatever we, what do we call it? And we want to do these things, and that's what we did. There's a mean yeah. scene. That's that's the type you play R and B when you don't. R and B dance. No, I don't. It just be silence. No. Oh. Why is you? It's, the oh, nigga be business. screaming like when he get hit from the back. Oh, it's no a lot of going on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, it, it be uh, oh it's house God. music. <laughs> There's some whole oh, goodness house. <laughs> some oh, it might be. Hey, it might be some house music <laughs> up in there. Don't play with me. Hey yo, y'all are wild. Y'all Man, terrible. Like, this y'all must terrible. Must be a jai, you crazy jai, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so do y'all ever go on like double dates together? Who? He's married, and you and who you're dating? Like, do y'all ever? I'm not dating anybody. Oh, you're not? No. Oh, my bad. I thought, I thought you, you know. said you were. I I thought thought you no, I said I'm not dating nobody. Oh, okay. 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 I, think I, said I haven't been in a relationship in years. Okay. It was years. Since I was married. I swore she was dating somebody on All Things Go. It must have ended. You were too, but. No, no, no. It ended quick. Mm. I haven't dated anybody <laughs> since I was married. Got it, got it got out. Trial period ran out. <laughs> <laughs> Could afford the subscri- <laughs> subscription. Uh, y'all just whack. Men just whack for real. That's how I look at it. Y'all whack. Yeah, yeah that's that's cool. Men just whack. I can live a whack life. Yeah, y'all just whack. You can live a whack life. Yeah. Talking about whack. Anybody <laughs> got lotion? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. What's up? I thought he had a whack one hundred story. Am I? What's up, Mister? Wet Willie. <laughs> oh my god! Crazy. I was eight oh four. It's time to go. Right, we got to wrap this thing wrap, up. Literally, wrap it up. All right, let's wrap it up. <laughs> well, at least the nigga nice. Ain't kick nobody out. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, but I just want to say thanks for, you know. He over crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like sorry, that. I couldn't even get out. <laughs> I want to say thanks for our, for our guests for joining us. Uh, we had a ball. We had a ball. You see, I'm teary-eyed. I can't even see the, <laughs> the camera for the lights and all that stuff right now. My eyes are in tears. Just laughing. But we had a blast. We should do this more often. I, I really like this. Have them give out the social media and their social medias. And of course, uh, uh we was gonna get to that, bro. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you are the <laughs> guest host. Calm I down. Was oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. hey Lamont. I'm fucking the cat. Just hold your leg. <laughs> <laughs> Getting oh, back to God. the story. <laughs> yeah, nice for you all to come out. Nice for Lamont to join us as our co-host yeah. as usual, whenever he's bored and not doing none of his good, you know. Commercials. That's right. He was doing commercials lately. But anyway, we'll get back to that. But um, thank you guys again for coming out. We appreciate um, it. Yeah. Next time you guys come, I'm hopefully um, D- the DJ can come DJ Ashmo, Ashmo. Yeah, she should Ashmo. be here next time. Right, right. She out on vacation. She in the sun. We hating. Right, right, <laughs> right. right. We so mad. where can they see your shows and, and YouTube, and Spotify, anywhere you could stream. It's on there. All things go podcast. Follow like, us on Instagram. Share. All things go underscore podcast on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that shit. All right. Please subscribe. Please. Right. Yes, and if, like and if they and if you need a house, you could always if reach out. If you need out a too. house, find me on Instagram, Kimberly <laughs> underscore Alexander. You could go to www. Close with KimberlyAlexander.com. If you need hair extensions, hair products, you could do shopkalexander.com. I don't remember my IG for my salon, but the name of the salon is K Alexander and Co. 
All right. All right. All right. Yeah. You need to jump off your I believe it's salon <laughs> underscore K Alexander. See, my man. Shout can, out to my co host. We can hit you up with jump off. <laughs> hit the DM on his OnlyFans page. Hit the DM. <laughs> I'm taking openings in the DM. Real shit. I'm joking, but I'm not. <laughs> he not. So, <laughs> <laughs> he not joking. But, at I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start it off from our end of it. Um, if you guys, you know, know me, I'm, I run a radio station as well as the book was a side thing, but um, I run a radio station. Trini, yeah, Trinity Spice FM. Um, you can check out Trinity Spice FM. Uh, download the app. It's a free app available on your Android and uh, Apple, you know, platforms. Um, what else? We got a lot of Caribbean music on there. Lamar, what you got going on? I see you doing commercials. Forgetting them commercials right now. Um, we got the Guns and Grams series, the Pizza Connection coming. I'm about to start filming with that, so y'all check that out. It's coming soon. Um, yeah, Savvy, go ahead. Introduce. Let me know you. You're a busy woman. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Savvy Events Brand, Savvy Entertainment Life, and Savvy Models. Savvy Savvy's Models Life. And once again, I'm having a show coming up, so please look out for that. And also, I'm over here managing this cat right here. <laughs> and look out for my other artist, BRM Stutton, streaming live on all platforms. All right, and before we clear it all out, I want to thank our, our host for having us in this beautiful studio. Um, shout out, you know. Um, but other than that, GVTV. And we, we out. out.